That classic style allowed Warwick to tour for decades and sell 100 million albums worldwide. When we spoke with the 80-year-old icon earlier this month, she was itching to get back on stage. I want to see people sitting next to each other. I want to see those people on stage truly interacting with each other again. But while in lockdown, Warwick found a new way to interact directly with her fans, Twitter. How did you get into social media? My niece. <laughs> <laughs> and being nosy. I had my nieces and nephews at my home one night, and they decided they were going to be twittering. <laughs> Or twat. <laughs> Is that what you call it? Yes. And they were having such a good time, you know, laughing and giggling and watching their little thumbs go crazy on phones. And I wanted to know what they were so entranced about here. <laughs> what are you laughing about? As it so happens, one of those nieces, Brittany Warwick, runs a digital media agency. I thought it would be a good idea for her to get on Twitter and start interacting and engaging with people. How different is Twitter Dion Warwick to your Aunt Dion, the woman you know and interact with? Not different at all. She's very down to earth. Anything that you see that she says on Twitter, she's gonna say that to you in person. Um, there's no difference. She's the same person. And you think that personality is one of the reasons she works on social media? Definitely, and you know, I think that's how, why she works everywhere. Her tweets, which she writes herself, showcase a constant flow of charm and sass. She's famously refused to write a bio for her profile, instructed her more than half a million followers to call her Ms. Warwick, and used her new favorite platform to reach out to other celebrities. Who are some of the other people you've been talking to online? The Weeknd, uh, Taylor Swift, Cardi B. <laughs> she's a hoot. <laughs> oh my God. And she's adorable, you know. Um, and generally just people. Keep your head high, she told Taylor Swift, who has spent years battling for control of her musical catalog. With what she went through, I was addressing that basically. Hmm. How she, she was basically cheated out of her... Possession. And then there was the time she playfully asked Chance the Rapper about his stage name. Everybody knew he was a rapper. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you have to reiterate it? You know, tell me. <laughs> and he took it the way it was given. You know, with a smile behind it. And I must say, I was completely surprised that he responded. Subsequently, we've become friends. You guys talk. Absolutely. We're in the throes of... Doing a duet, you know, the Chance the Rapper, Dion the Singer. <laughs> Beyond the potential collaborations, Twitter has provided this diva an outlet with which to connect with a new generation of listeners. If they didn't know her before, younger fans are now learning Dion Warwick's story. Yeah. 